from Missouri, Mr. Aiken is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Some um, years ago, actually quite a number of years ago, I had an opportunity to witness a total solar eclipse. That's one of those things that happens very, very rarely, and uh, it was quite interesting. Today we are looking at another eclipse of reason that happens very rarely. For the first time in 48 or 50 years, the Congress has not passed a defense bill. Now that's pretty serious. First time in 48 years, no defense bill passed by Congress. And what are we here today debating? Well, we're de debating the idea of an imposition of somebody's social agenda that they want to impose on the military. Now it would seem to me that at a minimum we would want to get down a defense bill before we got into this particular topic. But no, no, instead we're going to try and impose something when we're fighting two wars. Now the, the fact of the matter is, is that in spite of a survey that tried to be biased, you've got the leadership of the Air Force under General Schwartz, leadership of the Army under General Casey, and the Marine Corps leadership under General Amos all opposing making these changes on this instantaneous basis, imposing this social agenda. And um, so we are kind of experiencing something like a solar eclipse, except it's an eclipse of reason, an eclipse of common sense. I have three sons that are served in the Marine Corps, two currently in the Marines. And let me tell you, even with the somewhat biased survey, 60% of the Marines said, this is a lousy idea. So why are we at the end of the year when we have no defense bill at all, going to get into some of these sort of social agendas? I don't think this is what the American public expects Congress to be doing. I don't think we need an eclipse of reason, and I yield back my time. Thank you. Gentleman yields back balance of time. Uh, gentleman from California.